Earth Church is about more than simply appreciating nature, although that's certainly a first step. It's about becoming a part of nature, diving deep into the marrow of the earth, seeking its knowledge, seeking to better understand. It is the secret that has been before us all this time, hiding in plain sight, and we've not seen it. Perception comes from humility, from a willingness to admit that there may be those with better ways, better approaches, better ideas. And what we know that is true is that the systems of the earth have worked for hundreds of millions of years for living things. From the beginning of living organisms to the time that a fish of some type walked onto the beach, breathed air directly, and moved onto the land, to the coming of humans in various forms, the earth has been there to support us. There is knowledge in the earth, knowledge expressed in ecological systems, knowledge expressed in relationships, in connections that bind us all like a spider's web. Knowledge that is there to be gleaned if we take the time to look and listen and learn. Ecology is the central science of Earth Church because ecology is about how the various parts of the Earth interact to create the whole. Ecological systems are a wonderful example of balance and cooperation among species that are often considered to compete, yet nothing could be further from the truth. Balance is the essence of ecology, and balance is a key aspect of Earth Church. And as you begin to appreciate ecology and the messages of Earth Church, nature will begin to offer its wisdom to you. Nothing is alone in nature. We are all connected, and the Earth is connected. It is simply wonderful to sit by the side of a bayou or a river and simply listen, for there is a concert playing, one of a number of the choirs of Earth Church. The Cypress Tree. I am known to some as the old man of the water. I've been here a long while, but do not totter. I was here when Comanches came riding by on their painted ponies so swift and spry. My feet are planted in the river's path, anchored deep against the river's wrath. My knees are knobby, my leaves are thin, but I can stand up to a pretty strong wind. I've seen a lot of things in my many years. I've got things to say if you'll open your ears. I've watched this river for all of my time. We have truths to tell and stories sublime. Aldo Leopold wrote of the scene before me, of how the river plays a symphony, how science wants to examine each instrument, missing the whole, studying the increment. Science misses the river singing each night, and that we dream as one until light, and that I sing along as the river plays, its song of truth with no cliches. I sing of the gift of birds using my limbs and of the fish that in my deep pocket swims. The river symphony feeds upon my whims and together we orchestrate river tree hymns. But my river must have an adequate flow if I'm to become an old age hero. So the two of us depend upon your perception that the two of us are a worthy conception. So I'm asking you what you think is worth to be able to listen to my river's concert. To see me and the wind singing the tunes, for if you don't value us, we'll be entombed. So welcome to Earth Church. Pull yourself up a pew. You'll hear truth in this temple if you listen to.